Hi, I'm Drew Kojak, Executive Director of the International Council on Clean Transportation. This video is part of a six-part series on how to decarbonize the global transportation sector. Our focus here is on conventional vehicles. At the moment, there are nine countries, plus the European Union, that have adopted some form of energy efficiency standards for new passenger cars. These include CO2 standards in Europe and fuel economy standards in China and Japan. These 10 markets account for more than 85% of new passenger vehicles sold every year. As you can see from the graphic, efficiency improvements have doubled over the course of the last 20 years. In 2018, 80 million new passenger cars were sold globally, and by 2050, even with an accelerated transition to electric vehicles, as shown in this graphic, we project that the world will produce more than 2 billion conventional vehicles. The difference between building those 2 billion automobiles to efficiency standards that we currently have versus building them to more stringent standards will be about 38 gigatons of carbon. That's larger than the entire globe's CO2 emissions in 2017. Auto companies do face a legitimate challenge. How do you improve the efficiency of conventional vehicles while at the same time investing in the transition to electrification? Over the last 40 years, conventional cars have improved their efficiency steadily in major markets. And progress can continue, but only if those governments continue to adopt new regulations. The bottom line is that if governments and the auto companies are serious about addressing climate change, then they have to adopt a strategy of parallel investments. One set of investments to retool existing automobiles to continue to improve efficiency, and the second set of investments to simultaneously transition to electric vehicles.